When a big event unfolds, a 24-hour news channel like ANC has to break it as soon as possible. But the process isn't that easy. There usually is very little time between gathering data on the field and putting it on air. For ABS-CBN News and ANC, the only way to provide superior audio and video as the news happens is to go digital. A broadcast station's desire to go tapeless does not only involve the cameras that use tapes. Tapeless, by definition, means access to the media, possibly by several workstations, as soon as it enters a single server. The transition is expensive and the workflow inside the newsroom will be affected. But for ABS-CBN, automating the news gathering system is a smart investment. It's a huge advantage now that news is on an even tighter schedule. There are CNN group that I four four years ago when I went to Mount Everest. And they're using Betacam. Yeah, you're using Betacam but we're using mini-DV. Yes, mas advanced tayo. Tinanong ko sa kanila kung bakit ganun ang ginagamit nila. Ang sinasabi nila kasi sila, yung local kasi nila doon sa lugar, kasi sa Nepal to eh. Uh, ang sinasabi nila kasi, it's more on, yun nga, ang hirap magpalit ng isang sistema. Pag pinalitan mo, kailangan papalitan mo lahat. Once na pinalitan mo yung camera, ibig sabihin pati editing mo, papalitan mo lahat. So right now, uh, hindi lahat nakakahabol. Especially yung mga local TV stations sa US. Hindi sila nagpapalit. They're still using Betacam. Siguro sa usapin ng broadcast news, uh, masasabi natin tayo yung vanguard in terms of automation. Kiko Alejandro leads the operations of the media management room. It's tasked with digitizing and organizing all incoming content and making it available to everyone simultaneously. Val Cuenca, meantime, is part of the digital news gathering arm, which looks to eliminate the analog step altogether. Both agree mechanical equipment are more prone to breakdowns, and going digital not only saves on costs, but also promotes accountability. In the long run, when you don't have tape, you don't have to use the tape. 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 So, ang, ang maganda yung ano mo, maganda yung future mo in terms of uh, cutting cost. Ay, si screen mo, may mga thumbnail yon, tapos nandun pati oras. At the same time sa computer, pag dinalag mo yan, ganun din, nandun yung oras. So ngayon, hindi ka mga pushin yun. Ba't di mo nakunan? Kita mo kung saan nagkamali. So, bawal magsinungaling na hindi ko nakunan eh. Kita mo kung bakit di mo nakunan. Nagpapay ka eh. Although high definition is becoming the new standard, Cuenca says in the Philippines, there's no need to rush to HD just yet. Depende sa mga boss natin siguro. Actually, kaya natin kung kaya. Pero, kaya natin. Kung, ibig sabihin, siguro kaya nila in four, two to five years, kaya nila. Pero ang tanong, kaya ba ng mga tao? Bakit ba sa tao nakadotan? Kasi lahat naman tayo, we're using analog eh. Lahat tayo ginagamit natin eh, CRT o yung ditubo tube type na television. Oh, yun ang ginagamit natin. Lahat tayo naka-CRT. Hindi mo appreciate kasi ang pangit eh. Magkaiba talaga eh. For the immediate future, Alejandro hopes to have technology that makes media management as basic as drag and drop. Cuenca, meantime, is looking ahead to when delivering the news becomes as simple as picking up your phone. Ang in-expect ko in a near future, parang kahit using the SIM card, pwede kang mag-live using the SIM card ng real-time or maganda yung video. Okay. Parang 3G siya. Mm, parang ganun. Pero maganda yung, maganda yung resolution mo. For TV News Networks, it's a daily challenge to be first with the news and to tell a good story at the same time. Now, to get the best images on air, you have to do it right, but you also have to do it fast. Here's a peek at how we edit those videos that keep you glued to your screens and where the future of TV news is headed. It took a while before news video editing caught up with the tools, software and equipment previously associated only with the TV and movie productions. While non-linear editing has been around since the 1970s, it wasn't until the 90s that advanced editing methods made leap after leap towards faster and more efficient techniques. Here in the Philippines, the progression from umatic tapes to betacams to DVCs took some time. During the umatic days, 
I had, I don't, I had no idea. Na pupunta sa digital. Pero when I saw that the digital, the cameras were on digital already, that was the time that I realized na the videos will also be patterned as well. Around 15 to 20 years ago, we were on pneumatic. Same thing when Betacam appeared in the picture, still on linear, all real time. When you want to edit or preview, you need to finish the tape. Uh, the, the bigger the tape you have, the longer the video material you have. And then when you edit, it's real time. When you have put on effects, it's also real time. But now news has gone digital and definitely high def bound. Since the advent of editing tools like Industry Standard Avid and Final Cut Pro, Editing video and news has gone far beyond the cut-to-cut -cut basics, no frills effects and real-time feeding, ingesting and viewing methods. So we use Avid specifically for news. We have Final Cut for our long-form documentaries. So, and we have in just installed uh, months ago our Avid Interplay, our new, new Avid, that, uh, that is at par with the international news organization. So that fast, you can deliver the news quickly, more efficient, and everybody benefits from it. Advanced editing systems have also helped news organizations like ABS-CBN cut down on costs due to tape usage. The trend, tapeless with massive storage space. Broadcast firms across the world have also begun implementing editing and feeding on the fly, where reporters and field personnel no longer need to rush their tapes back to the newsroom. Now it's just a matter of having the right software on your laptop and sending these via web servers. The Philippines has yet to experience truly high-def news content, but when that time comes, at least one network is ready. Our equipments are high-def, HD ready. They are already. Our cameras are HD ready. Uh, the switchers on the engineering part are ready, but I don't think the transmitters are ready. They're in the process of preparing for it. And anytime that our big bosses say, go HD, we're all ready. <laughs>